The Hearth and Home update has brought with it all kinds of new items for us to build, and that includes a lot of new furniture items, all of which you see here behind me. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through all of the new furniture items, including how you can build them in your world, and also the comfort that they give, and also talk a little bit about comfort and how to get yourself as comfortable as possible in this new Hearth and Home update. Now, just to say, I have made a previous video which goes through all of the comfort items before Hearth and Home, everything that is still in the game and does still provide you with comfort. There will be a link to that video down in the video description, so you guys can check that out if you wish. Another thing to note is for some of these comfort items, you will need tar and you will also need dark wood, both of which can be used by getting, well, tar. So if you want to know how to get tar and how to farm tar, again, there is a video link in my description or on my channel, you can find the video on how to get tar. So the first new item we're going to look at is the dark wood chair. And as it would suggest, you can, of course, sit on it and it will provide you with two comfort. Now, just to say these do not stack so whether you have just the one chair or like 10 of them you're still just going to get two comfort points to make the dark wood chair you'll see there you need four fine wood one tar five iron nails and one deer hide and next up we have something that you'd use more as an outdoor feature and that is the sitting log as its name would suggest you can sit on it and this will provide you with one comfort. Again, this does not stack. This is very cheap to make. You just need two core wood to make one sitting log. Now, my second favorite new comfort item in the game is this right here, the stone throne. And I like it for a few reasons. First of all, loving the little stance there sat on my stone throne. It looks pretty awesome, right? And second of all, it is a three comfort item. That is very, that's like a lot of comfort, right? For one item, that is really useful. And of course, this thing looks really, really cool. Uh, I think the aesthetic of it is just awesome. And, uh, even from all angles, it looks pretty cool, right? It just looks kind of like a boss throne. It's a very viking throne, so I'm very happy with that one. Now, in order to make the stone throne, you will need 20 stone, two deer hide, two wolf pelt, and a stone cutter nearby. Hey guys, Kaizen here. Just wanted to very quickly say I do stream Valheim several times a week on Twitch. Uh, link to that is the top of my description. I hope to see some of you guys there, but let's get back to the video. There are two new tables in the Hearth and Home update, and I have to say I like both of them. They both provide the same amount of comfort to comfort. You have the round table here and the long heavy table here. Now, in order to make each of these, you'll see here that the round table is 10 fine wood, two tar, 20 iron nails, and the long heavy table is 20 fine wood, two tar, and 20 iron nails. Neither one too difficult to make the long heavy table just requiring a little bit of the extra fine wood there but both look awesome and each will provide you with two comfort but it's a one or the other deal these items do not stack so you'll get two comfort whether you have just one of these tables or both or like 20 of each okay guys so my favorite new comfort item i mean it's the same as yours it's got to be right it is of course the new hot tub it is absolutely amazing now a couple things to say about this it will provide you with one comfort and it can be used outside but in order to use it guys you do need to go around to the back here and put your wood inside and you'll know it's done because you'll get smoke and more importantly you'll get bubbles and <laughs> we can stand in here and you can see now that we're in there we have the fire effect because this of uh, the fire's been stoked right so this is like hot bubbles now interestingly if i were to sit down in this thing you will see that I get wet. Okay, and I've got comfort of one because this can be used outside. So unlike the other stuff that needs to be inside under a shelter, this doesn't. So this is almost like an on-the-go comfort thing just for one comfort, but hey, it still works. Um, but yes, I've, I've gotten wet by sitting down in it. So if I stand back up, you'll see I'm no longer getting the comfort effect and I start to dry. So kind of interesting. Now, in order to make your fantastic new hot tub, you will need 20 wood, six tar, 10 iron, and eight stone. So obviously the point of comfort is to give you extra rested buffs and most of us obviously will do that at our bases around the world. So what I've done here is made a bit of a base to see how comfortable we can get. Now there are a few things to note. First of all, around the back here, I've got this maypole and we've also got the uh, the hot tub, which we're actually gonna stoke that up right now uh, because it will not provide any comfort, the hot tub, unless it has been stoked and is bubbling just like that. Now the maypole, I will mention this today because although it's not technically new, it is something that you couldn't make when I made my previous comfort video and then they changed it and so in order to make it you need 10 wood, 4 dandelion and 4 thistles and that'll make your maypole. I also want to quickly mention the hearth. This is the best fire in terms of the comfort that it gives. It gives you two comfort as opposed to one for like a campfire or bonfire and the hearth does now have a bit of a new design. They revamped the design slightly. I have to say I think it's looking really nice, really clean, really sharp and this is the new design for the hearth and home update. So heading on inside now 
let's have a look at what we've got. And if we go and stand somewhere central, you'll see here that my comfort now has gone to the max level, which is 18. So that is pretty awesome. That amount of comfort is going to give you a big rested buff for sure. Uh, now, the way we've achieved that, we've got a variety of all the different rugs that you can get in the game. And I just made like the round table, the throne, we've got some banners, the brazier. So again, um, a lot of stuff going on in here, obviously the good bed and all that sort of stuff. So most of the stuff I've covered in today's video with the new comfort settings uh, or items, I should say. And as I say, the video description does have a link to my previous comfort video, which talks about some of this other stuff in more detail. But today I just wanted to cover all of the new things for you guys. Now there is actually a way to increase that comfort level one extra, but it is only available in cheat mode and that is to build yourself a yule tree so we put down the yule tree right here you'll see my comfort is now level 19 so i wanted to mention that but it is something you can only get in cheat mode so yeah uh, you can also put yourself down some little presents under the tree guys why not enjoy yourself while you're here if you're going to cheat you just as well go all out and have a nice tree with presents underneath and in fact you can even open them so all of the uh cheat items there to one side as i say level 18 has been the maximum i've been able to achieve so i believe that is the maximum but guys if i'm missing something if you know a way of getting to level 19 or higher without using cheats then do let me know and if somebody does mention that i will make sure to pin a comment letting you guys know how you can get that higher comfort level if it is indeed possible so having sat down and rested myself up for a little bit here you'll see that my rested buff will now have 25 minutes available to it so as i say i believe this is the maximum you can get without the cheats. so essentially your comfort starts at level seven and then as you add things around you will be able to get the extra comfort and each comfort level provides you with one minute now just to say uh, these things here these banners are the new banners in the game if you guys want to make those up you can find them in here and the recipes for them are as such the white and blue needs uh, leather fine wood blueberries and cloudberries whereas the uh, blue and red uh, and white uh, is leather, fine wood, blueberries, raspberries, and cloudberries. So I hope today's video was helpful, guys. And of course, I will be covering everything through the Hearth and Home update, including loads of tutorials on everything you need to know about the game. And of course, a lot of entertainment videos as well, where we'll be doing Let's Plays and my server and stuff like that. So do stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in all things Valheim, because I plan on making a lot of our home content for a very long time. But for now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And of course, here come the dad jokes. What are the two things you can't have for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. Why did the man take a ruler to bed? To see how long he slept. I don't play soccer because I enjoy the sport. I'm just doing it for kicks. I used to work in a shoe recycling store. It was soul destroying. Why did the gum cross the road? It got stuck to the chicken's foot.